<laughs> Got him, folks. Welcome to the show. Stick around and you'll see what's on the end of this. <laughs> Today on Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures, we take a special look at the mid north coast of New South Wales, in particular, Southwest Rocks. And I go surf fishing with local angling guru Laurie McAnally, and then he takes us up the mighty Maclay River where we snare some succulent mud crabs. Welcome, folks, to a half-hour special look at the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Today, I'm at Southwest Rocks, and over there, Hat Head, in between Smoky Beach. And local angling star Laurie McAnally told me to meet him on that beach. I tell you what, if my eyes aren't deceiving me, it's going to take a bit of doing. I better start walking. Water, water, where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Larry! <laughs> God, Rex, you scared the life out of me. I tell you what, folks, Laurie McAnally, half of the famous McAnally's of the mid coast of New South Wales. Sir Lawrence of Arabia's camel never walked over that many sand dunes, mate, but I tell you what, man, a magnificent looking beach here, son. Just a short walk, Rex. <laughs> Not what far. You, what do you got in mind for us? We've got some nice fish coming off in the, all these gutters here. There's a few whiting and brim, and uh, it's the right time of the year for a good catch of fish. We'll just wait for the light to turn green, and then we'll go fishing. It's like fishing on the Hume Highway. Let's go. Clear to the left, clear to the right. I'll tell you what, Julie, now have a look at her. She's a very, very keen she's lady right. angler. She certainly is. <laughs> she just dropped a fish up the back there. Did and she, she really? Zip back, grabbed another worm, and she's down there having another toss. There should be a few fish here, Rex. No two ways about it. Folks, I've just got a light helmet-type sinker. They use ball sinkers up here, but I'm using the Victorian light rig that we use when it's not a big surf, and I can feel it rolling around the bottom. Look at that. Just a touch. Just give him a touch. He'll take it. You're on. Gee whiz, I tell you what. <laughs> Fair weight there too. Yeah, he is. Now, he's actually swum across the back of that channel and he's gone down into that water down there. In the gutter. They're in the gutter there. This is feeding, fantastic. Feeding where the water runs across, Rex. Well, I think it's a good lesson there for young people too, Laurie. You might like to sort of run our young people through it, the importance of channels and structures well, it's not so much structures in the surf, but the channels can be structures. That's right. There, there's an actual way of reading the beach so that you can see where there's the most likely place for the fish to be feeding, where there's a bit of water running off the banks, turning the sand over, exposing the pippies and the heads of the little worms and all the rest of it. Hello, you might have a double here, Rex. This is looking all right. Something but all, really... those, all those fish are feeding on that edge. Look at that. This is all right. Oh, a that's nice not bad at all, is it? Silver brim and a whiting. Wow. I'll just Hello. get Noel to come up here with us and have a look at that. Now, that's not a bad start. You can't do better than that for a start. <laughs> that's well, there you are, Laurie. I'll get you to hold that yeah. outfit. This one here, well, I'd call him a sand whiting. That's exactly what it is. Have a look at him. A beautiful fish. Now, he swallowed that hook. 
And folks, I'm not going to go too hard on him because all I'm going to do is nip the hook out there, give him a bit of a kiss, and as soon as the next wave comes up, but look at this magnificent fish here. Now, I'll let our little friend go there. And off you go, away he goes. And it's the same with this bloke here. I tell you what, beach worms, they seem quite savage. Now, he might have a little bit of a lesion on him or something like that there. Yeah, it's had a little bit of a knock. No, that's something's attacked that fish at some stage. Yeah. And that's a scar that's healed up. That's a very good silver they, brim. Is it really? Yeah. Um, from where I come from, I think they might call it a yellowfin brim. Yep. Same species. Same, same animal. Yep. That, that these actually inhabit the estuary and the surf. Yep. And he's a male, folks. You can see there that the milt is coming out. And kids, that's the male of the species. That's the sperm that fertilises the eggs of the female. And that's why we must be very, very careful. And if we take a fish, take a small one just over legal size. If we want some fishing for tomorrow, Number one, we want to stop people actually beach scening mullet here by the tons to use as fertiliser in their breeding uh, cycle. The most important thing is enjoy your fishing. There's always the next one for the frying pan. Gee, the tides keep on going out there. I tell you what, folks, that's not a bad sort of a start here. Southwest rocks, I think I'm going to enjoy this. And away you go, young man. You do your stuff and produce some fish for tomorrow. Look oh, at him he's go, on. he's gone. I think a very good thing in surf fishing right around Australia is that the 90 mile beach of, Vic of Victoria syndrome of the big long Rangoon cane about 16 foot long and the 10 ounce star sinker is gone. And I tell you what, I'm in shorts. It's approaching winter. I tell you what, Laurie. Eric. This used to be a good spot, didn't it? Uh, I was once, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> You're all around uh, the world now, mate, so I hope it's not a secret. They only, uh, bite, they only bite every five minutes here. It's not what it used to be. I'll tell you what, well, I tell you, this is absolutely world-class fishing. But bread and butter fishing is a good way to go. Now, here's another brim. I'll tell you what, he's probably a, a keeper if you really wanted something to eat. But a beautiful fish, and as I said earlier on, these are one of the few species that run the beach and the estuary together. And there we are, we'll just snip him off and let him go. Well, Laurie, I'll tell you what, it's made it difficult for next time we go fishing in this particular show because I tell you what, this is a very, very solid performance by you and Julie yeah, opening up. There's a lot of fish here, mate, a lot of fish. Beautiful <laughs> beach, can't ask for more. Nothing more relaxing than being out here. Winter's afternoon, absolutely delightful. It is too. There's an ANSET flight on its way out to Brisbane. I tell you what, not a bad place to be. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Wahoo!